Hello gamers, this is David and welcome to the Aorus launch event. As you can see from the video, Aorus, the premium gaming brand of Gigabyte, has been proudly innovating GPU cooling technology for over 15 years. With every new product release, it is our goal and commitment to provide exceptional performance and stability to your gaming experience. Today is no different. As you're about to see, our latest max cover cooling technology on our newly launched graphics card will be the ultimate cooling solution for your next gen gaming PC. So, sit tight and enjoy the exciting new features we are about to show you today. Team up and fight on! So guys, today we're very excited to announce the brand new Aorus RTX 3080. These are the most powerful and the best cooled graphics cards that we've ever made. This new generation of gaming cards feature the max covered cooling technology. And to better introduce this technology to you guys, I would like to pass this to our special guest. Everyone, let's welcome Linus Tech Tips. What's up everyone, Linus here from Linus Tech Tips, and if you're old like me, then you've seen a lot of architectural keynotes. I mean, can you believe the GTX 10 series came out four years ago? 16 nanometer process, GDDR5X memory, Jensen said the GTX 1080 would be faster than two 980s in SLI. How exciting was that? But then before we knew it, Turing was announced. Dedicated RT and tensor cores, programmable shading, real-time ray tracing was finally a reality. But they grow up so fast. Now, we're in the age of Ampere. 28 billion transistors, an eight nanometer process, and 1.9 times the performance per watt of its predecessor. 1.9 times the performance per watt and yet, that didn't stop them from adding more watts. I mean, here, just look at this one. It's a chunk. The GTX 1080 was 180 watts. The reference 3080, 320 watts. Which is why I'm here today to tell you how Aorus completely reimagined the cooling on their Aorus RTX 3080 compared to previous generations with a solution they're calling Max Covered Cooling. I actually love it because it describes exactly what you're looking at. There's three fans covering the front of this cart. So change number one, the stack fan. On a traditional triple fan GPU, You've actually got little dead zones between the fans here with very little movement between them. So as you can imagine, the fins under there are not doing a ton of work leading to diminished thermal efficiency. Well, the stack fan deletes dead zones by simply having the three fans overlap with the two side fans brought up to the front and the middle fan holding down the rear. So they actually like spin over top of each other. Lower GPU temps from fans that are larger, slower and quieter. Sweet. Number two, the Aorus RTX 3080 achieves better heat dissipation than traditional multi-fan designs by eliminating air turbulence caused by the direction the fans spin. Side-by-side -side fans that spin the same direction can actually create oppositional air streams that collide, weakening thermal efficiency. So Aorus's implementation seeks to use an alternately spinning middle fan that promotes smooth airflow with its neighbors and increases air pressure. It's like, I can kind of relate to that middle fan. You know, spin in the opposite way. Middle fan, I get you. And number three, the feature with the coolest name, Wind Claw. Wind Claw refers to a set of stationary blades that serve to channel the air from the active fans so that the heatsink is more uniformly and more completely cooled. 
really neat stuff. But we all know there's more to cooling than just fans, which is why the Eurus RTX 3080 has a copper mounting plate with direct contact to both the GPU and VRAM for efficient heat transfer from the interior cores out to the heatsink via a vapor chamber. Now, if you haven't seen my video from six years ago, don't blame you, it was six years ago, the reason vapor chambers are awesome is that they have better heat transfer than solid blocks of metal, but greater surface area and dissipation than heat pipes. So then after the vapor chamber, the fins on the Eurus 3080 heatsink have an angular design that helps get more air in and out of them. And they've got this extra extended heatsink that's exposed on both sides, letting the air actually pass right through. Very cool. And if that weren't enough, there's even an LCD edge view display on here for monitoring your GPU usage, temps, game FPS, heck, you can even put little custom text or GIFs on there. There's even a Tamagotchi style egg that hatches and levels up the more hours you put on your GPU. That's very, very extra. So thank you to Aorus for sponsoring this video. Check out their RTX 3080 with max covered fans or their gaming OC and Eagle OC cards with more conventional triple fan designs at the link down below. Which, wait, wait a minute. I'm not even on the right YouTube channel right now. Why am I doing this? So you heard it from Linus. These brand new generation of Aorus graphics cards feature a ton of improvements over our previous generation designs. However, I'm sure you're dying to find out how these new graphics cards will perform in real world situations. So our team has prepared a ton of benchmarks as well as data to present to you. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at how these new graphics cards perform. I'm sure this next part is the part that many of you have been waiting for. We're about to take a first look at the real-world performance of the brand new Aorus RTX 3080. However, before we begin, I just want to quickly tell you that these are preliminary performance numbers, including the GPU temperatures and fan speeds. Our teams are still fine-tuning the drivers, as well as the fan curves and speeds for these new cards, so you can expect to see performance and temperature improvements down the road. Make sure to follow us on our social media to get the latest information on those. Now, let's begin. Our first benchmark today is with GTA 5. This game launched back in 2015 and is an extremely popular open world action game. I'm sure many of you are familiar with this game title. Right now, you're seeing GTA 5 with a GTX 1080 Ti at 4K Ultra settings. Our average FPS is 37, which is not ideal for smooth gameplay. Jumping up to an RTX 2080 Ti, you can see a small bump in performance. Things are a little smoother with an average FPS of 42 under the same 4K Ultra settings. When jumping up to the brand new Aorus RTX 3080, you'll see a dramatic improvement in 4K gaming performance. This represents about a 26% improvement over the RTX 2080 Ti and a 43% increase over the previous GTX 1080 Ti. If you're looking to achieve the smoothest 4K gaming performance in GTA 5, the clear option is to go with the new Aorus RTX 3080. When running this benchmark, we saw temperatures ranging from 60 to 65 degrees Celsius. We'll put numbers on the screen for you to see right now. Let's jump to another popular open world game, Red Dead Redemption 2. This is a more recent title which launched at the end of 2019. Let's start off with the GTX 1080 Ti at 4K max settings. Average FPS is around 34, which is enough to provide smooth gameplay. Jumping up to the RTX 2080 Ti, we see a substantial performance improvement, but not quite 4K 60 just yet. Now let's move over and talk about the brand new Aorus RTX 3080. As you can see, we're seeing another significant improvement in our in-game FPS. So if you want to get the best possible 4K gaming experience in Red Dead Redemption 2, look no further than the Aorus RTX 3080. During this benchmark, we also saw a similar temperature range, peaking at 60 to 65 degrees Celsius.
for the next benchmark, let's jump into Shadow of the Tomb Raider. The footage that you're seeing here is with the Aorus RTX 3080. We're running this at 4K with maximum settings, and right now, you can see we're reaching over 100 FPS. This is a very impressive result that wasn't possible with previous generation graphics cards. These new cards deliver great gaming performance and deliver ultra smooth gameplay experiences. We've also ran performance tests on many other game titles. We'll put the data on screen for you to see now. At 4K resolution, it's no surprise that the Aorus RTX 3080 is the king of performance. If you're looking for high resolution gameplay, this is the card that you want in your system. At 1440p resolution, the Aorus RTX 3080 delivers great performance and will allow you to take full advantage of high refresh rate gaming monitors for that ultra smooth gaming experience. Lastly, let's take a look at the 1080p gaming performance. And no surprises here, our latest card handles 1080p gaming without breaking a sweat. As you can see, the Aorus RTX 3080 is a performance monster. This is one of the most powerful graphics cards that we've ever created. And don't forget that this is just the beginning, and we'll continue to keep fine-tuning the performance, temperatures, and noise levels. You can expect to see improvements as we have more time to tweak and optimize the card. Remember to follow us on social media for the latest updates on how far we can take the Aorus RTX 3080. Now that you've seen the performance of the new Aorus RTX 3080 graphics cards, let's quickly talk about what else is new from Gigabyte. If you plan to upgrade to the new graphics cards, you want to make sure that you have a high quality power supply that can meet the power requirements for this new generation. There's two new power supplies that we recommend. The Gigabyte P750GM and the P850GM. These are great options because these are both 80 plus gold certified feature a full modular design, high quality Japanese capacitors, and a 120 mm smart fan. These are guaranteed to be compatible with the latest generation of Gigabyte and Aorus graphics cards. A new addition to the Gigabyte family is our new M series of gaming monitors. These are high performance monitors with cutting edge features such as super speed IPS and KVM. Let's take a quick look at the world's first KVM gaming monitor. So as you guys can see, max covered cooling technology is very impressive and it helps to bring a lot of new benefits onto the table. If you guys want to have the best cooling performance on a graphics cards, you're definitely going to want to take a look at the brand new Aorus RTX 30 series.